What non-technical skills can get you a job in cybersecurity? In this video, I will take you through the five most critical skills that can help you to get into cybersecurity. And no, there is no technology knowledge involved. So keep watching and see if you have one of these five skills. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz. I am a senior IT manager and I have over 22 years of hands-on IT experience. IT is really, really my passion. I'm super excited to share some of my knowledge and my experience with you. So most people focus on the technical skills one may need to get into cybersecurity. And don't get me wrong, technical knowledge is super critical, but technical skills are not everything to have when you want to get a job in cybersecurity. So let's set the stage first. Technical skills are a must have when working in information technology in general. And there are so many different roles, it is almost impossible possible to really just narrow it down to a few. Getting into cybersecurity is not really any different. You will need a good knowledge of information technology as a foundation, but these are the skills that can easily be learned. Well, maybe not easily, but compared to some of the following five skills, I would say it is easy. So don't hit me too hard on that one for this statement. Just keep the overall context in mind. So let's look at these five skills and why they matter to get into cybersecurity. Skill number one is problem solving. Working in cybersecurity will confront you with problems, often really completely new ones, very complex, very difficult. Stuff you have not experienced before. Your problem solving skills will really help to get you through a challenging cybersecurity situation, like trying to identify how did an attacker actually get into your network? How was the attacker able to disguise his presence even though you have a sophisticated intrusion detection system in production? So good and creative ways to solve problems can really separate you from the average cybersecurity professional. And it's really quite easy and it helps you to build up a good reputation too. The second skill that you need to have is a lot of curiosity. Curiosity to learn new technologies and new attack methods. But curiosity goes much further. You could add having an open mind to this as well and then look at challenges and problems in very different ways. This skill will move you ahead of those that need to be told what to do every single day. But if you're really eager to move forward and you have curiosity, you start experimenting. It really will make a difference in the way how you work. So skill number three is really the self-learning ability. The ability to self-learn new technologies or new ways of doing things is really critical. The ability to self-learn new technologies or new ways to do things is super critical for your career success in cybersecurity. Being able to pick up a book or go through a self-study course or, some, or something like this and not just to become proficient but an expert in something, that is an invaluable skill I believe will make you very, very successful in cybersecurity. I believe this skill alone has allowed me to work in so many different ways in information technology. Looking back, I have worked as a help desk technician, as a systems administrator, as a systems engineer, as a systems engineer with specialization in virtualization. I worked as a network engineer, as a storage specialist and in cybersecurity too. And I was able to teach myself certain management skills to become a senior IT manager. I've had very little opportunity to really get formalized training and more often than not, I spent my own dollars on buying books and buying training courses and to really study the material. So if you can develop a very similar skill or this one skill, in my opinion, this would be the one to have. This is the one that brings home the bacon. The next skill, skill number four is being able to work in a group, being a team member, being able to work in a group setting and become a valued member of such a team is so important. Over the course of my career, I have seen so many people really that have difficulties working in the team. When a leader builds a team, it is so important to look at the dynamics within the team and how good a team could perform. But instead, individual rock stars are hired and merged into a team or what you would call a team. And that is just not how this works in so many situations. I think so many studies have proven that a team made of rock stars is not necessarily more successful than a team that is just made of regular Joes. Taking one for the team may be a well-known phrase and often used in a fun way too, but there's a lot of truth attached to this phrase in my opinion. So when you measure results, keep that in mind. The fifth skill is really a simple one, but it can make or break careers. Meticulous attention to detail is this fifth skill. Especially in cybersecurity, where a sloppy mistake can leave an entire network exposed to attackers, it really matters. So let's take firewall rules for an example. I am going to simplify this for the video. When setting up a new firewall from scratch, best practice really would be to close all ports 
and only open those that you really need. Each request to open a firewall port should be questioned and then be documented and only be implemented with proper change control in place. You may ask why because it sounds like an awful lot of work and control and it is. But it is critical really that when you open up the wrong port or leaving your port open when it is no longer needed that you can go and backtrace this. So you don't want to have this open invitation to attackers to come into your network and make himself at home in your environment and just steal your data. Or when you go through log files after an attack. Not paying enough attention to detail may lead you to never discover how an attacker really gained access to your database or your network or your servers. If you know that you often have to go back and correct things that you did, ask yourself why it happened in the first place. Is it due to lack of attention to detail? So these five skills may seem silly and maybe not important, but they can make or break your career aspirations in cybersecurity. So what do you think? Do these at home with you? If they do in one way or the other, or maybe not, please leave a comment down below. I would love to see what your thoughts are about this. So, well, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.